Hi everyone. Okay, so you met her a couple times now. So let me introduce you to my dog. This is Stella. We call her Stella Bear. She is a kind of dog called a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And she is part of my family. So every day, guess how many times she has to go outside? Seven. She's kind of small. To make sure that she does not pee or poop inside the house. So two of the times have to be long walks so that she gets exercise. She also eats twice a day at 7.45 in the morning and at 3.15 in the afternoon. And every two weeks, we have to give her a bath so she does not smell bad. So usually, one of my daughters, Audrey, will take her into the bathtub and rinse her down. And also, every month, she has to take two different kinds of medicines just to kind of make sure that she doesn't get sick. So when you have pets, you have to take care of them. Well, a shepherd, is someone who takes care of sheep. He makes sure that they have food and water and he keeps them safe and clean. And in our Bible story today, Jesus said he is the good shepherd. So listen to the story to find out who is Jesus' sheep. But first, let me let Stella go. I don't think she wants to stay in my arm any longer, okay? Bye, Stella Bear. Go, go. See you later. Go. No, you're done. Okay, but first, we're going to go over our Bible verse. Stella, go. Don't look at me. Okay, so in this unit called Jesus the Teacher, Jesus preached to many people so they could learn about God and learn about how they should live. And the key passage is from John 14, 25 to 26. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. While Jesus was on earth, he taught many wonderful things. Thankfully, now that Jesus has risen from the dead and returned to be with God, the Holy Spirit lives with believers to help us remember the wonderful things Jesus taught. We never have to be alone. We can trust Jesus as his promise and know that the Holy Spirit lives with believers. And the song we are working on is called Waymaker, and here are the words to the second part. You are here, and that's talking about God, right? Touching every heart, I worship you. You are here, healing every heart, I worship you. You are here, oh, turning lives around, I worship you. And you are here, and you are mending, that's like fixing every heart, I worship you. Okay, so background information and review. We have learned a lot about Jesus' teaching, right? In the very beginning of this unit, we learned that Jesus taught people how to live in God's kingdom with the Sermon on the Mount. We know that following Jesus is not easy, but he is worth it. Then, Jesus taught people how to pray. And last week, we learned that Jesus taught people not to worry because God provides for our needs. And today, we will learn that Jesus taught that he is a shepherd, but not just any shepherd. Jesus is the good shepherd. And our lesson today is from John 10, called the good shepherd. So Jesus was telling stories, and he told the stories to the Jewish leader. If a person climbed into a sheep pen, a space, like a gated area where you keep the sheep, then he is not the shepherd. He is a thief. Because well, how does a shepherd enter a sheep pen? A shepherd goes through the gate. And when the sheep hear the shepherd's voice, they recognize him and they will follow him. A shepherd calls his sheep by name and he leads them. If the sheep hear the voice of a stranger, do you know what they do? They run away. Well, the people did not understand Jesus' story because Jesus was talking about God's people as sheep. The Jewish leaders were the stranger and Jesus is a shepherd. And this is what Jesus said. He said, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved. Jesus was saying that he is the gate 
that leads to true life. People who come to him are like sheep who come to green pastures, right? Jesus warned, a thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. Jesus was talking about the devil, right? Who does not want people to follow God. And then he said, I come that they may have life and have it abundantly. And then Jesus also say, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And he said, I know my sheep and my sheep know me. So like a shepherd who will risk his own life to protect his sheep from wolves, Jesus was willing to die for his people. Jesus came into his father's plan and he was going to die and rise again. So the Jews argued with one another. Many say, don't listen to him. He has a demon. He is crazy. Others say, that's not true. How can a demon give sight to the blind? Because remember, he let people, he healed the blind men so that people can see. So the Jewish leader, they just asked Jesus, are you really the Messiah? Tell us. And Jesus answered, I told you, and you do not believe. So he said that he did tell them, but they did not believe because they are not his sheep. He also said that his miracles prove who he is. Jesus reminded them that he is the good shepherd. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. The father and I are one. So what did we learn in the story? We learned that Jesus, he is the good shepherd. God sent him to rescue sinners. Jesus laid down his life for his sheep. So they could have forgiven us our eternal life. When we trust in Jesus, we are his sheep. And what do we do? We're his sheep who listen. Let me see if I can. We, we listen. We follow. And we obey him. Okay. Big picture question for this unit. What did Jesus teach when he was on earth? Jesus taught about God and his kingdom. He taught that all scripture is about him. So we've learned a lot about Jesus, what Jesus taught the last few weeks and all of it shows us more about God and his kingdom. When Jesus taught that he is a good shepherd, he was saying that God sent him to save sinners and give them life in God's kingdom. So earlier we talked about the words to the song Waymaker. Now you can ask your parents to let you listen to it. Um, I also send your parents activity sheets that will help you remember the story. And try to remember the Bible verse. This is our last time doing this, okay? John 14, 25 through 26. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Okay, let's pray before we end, okay? Dear God, we thank you that Jesus is the good shepherd who came to rescue sinners like us who are his sheep. We thank you that Jesus laid down his life for us so that we can have forgiveness and eternal life with him. Help us to trust in Jesus in all that we do and help us to listen, follow, and obey Jesus. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.